okay? Because my mom, it's funny, my mom and I were arguing about this the other day. Cause, and, and she was right. She was right. I, I, she, I should have known she should have been right. She messed up my credit when I was 18 <laughs> and had a chance to fix her so she knows. We were talking about debt-to-income ratio, right? Mm-hmm. So I experienced for the first time, and this happened two months ago, mm-hmm. I maxed out my credit card, mm-hmm. right? My credit score dropped. <laughs> 120 <laughs> points. Yes, ma'am. Even though I pay my credit card every month on time and I pay off the full balance. Yes. So what happened is I think I paid off half and then it was like, okay, so I let it max the 30 days because I know you got within that 30 days right. to pay it. If you don't pay it after the 30 days, that's when the points drop. So I thought, I'm like, I'm going to pay half. Right. Woo! That thing, 120 points. I was at a five, like, I think it was like a 553, 554, okay? Yes. I was like, oh, my God. So my friend told me, it was a little secret. Mm -hmm. She said, call the credit card company and have them increase your credit card limit. Yes. That is a good tip. Very she good. she gave me a good tip. So it worked. I called them. They increased the limit, and boom, my credit score went right back up. I was like, "Oh shit, that worked." Okay, but yes. I don't want to have to be doing that. Okay, right. And so I want us to talk a little bit how, how credit cards work. Okay. And collections and this debt to income ratio. Can you break that down? Because I know when people hear debt to income ratio, they're like, "What?" Because they sure. determine that when you're buying a house too. Right. Am I getting a little too deep here? No, you're you're right on point. Um, okay. There are two different things that you're talking about. When you're talking about debt to income ratio, that's not calculated on your credit profile because oh. the credit bureaus don't know what your employers, what you get paid. Oh, What okay. you're talking more about is debt to credit ratio. Okay, see, she, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. And another term for your debt to credit ratio is utilization. Mm. That is the term. So let me, let me give you the backbone of how credit cards or credit works so that you'll understand how credit cards work in there okay. and why your credit score dropped like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it hurt me. I, I woke up, I said, what the fuck? I was yeah. like, what happened? You're clutching your purse. I was, uh, like, no, I was no. like, oh my God. I mean, I was sweating bullets. I was yeah. like, this is some, I'm trying to buy properties in Atlanta and this can't, <laughs> this can't happen. I know because I'm trying to get into the rental property business. So like, I was like, this is going to hurt This is not going to work. Yes. But that tip that your friend gave you was awesome, and I'll share with you why. So your credit score, think of your credit score like it is um, a grade, like a major grade in high school. Mm-hmm. So there are five categories. A major grade in high school, there may have been research, content, um, neatness, mm. and something else. Okay. You know, four categories. Okay. And it all added up to, to 100%. Now, if you got an F in one of those categories... Even if you got an A in all the four other ones, but you had an F in the neatness, it Mm -hmm. will drag your score down. It's the same thing that happened to you Mm -hmm. with your available credit. Right. So there are five categories that you want to memorize, and I help you with this um, if you work with me. And the number one category is payment history, 35%. Okay. Worth 192.5 points. What? Yes. The second category is 30%. That's available credit which is what we were just talking about credit cards, that's worth 165 points. Wow. Length of history, or that's how old is your credit. Okay. That's worth 15% or 82.5 points. The fourth category is new debt. So that's your hard inquiries. Mm -hmm. That's worth 55 points. And then the last section is credit mix, which I call the foundation of your score. That's what's in your profile, Mm. and that's worth 55 points. Mm. So when you, as I mentioned, that's the foundation. So you want a healthy mix of both installment loans and revolving accounts, which are your credit cards. Mm. So when you mentioned available credit and how your score dropped like a rock, that is the fastest way to manipulate your score on a monthly basis. So your score will go up and down drastically based on that one category. The others, not so much. They they take time. Like it takes time for your score to drop from a collection or uh, it takes time for your score to, to age or it counts right. to age. But when you get an F in that area, which you got an F in that area. I did. When you, because I have, there's two clients that I have, two types of clients. I have person A. They have no credit cards, so they're not getting any of those 165 points. Okay. Or a person B who has maxed out their credit, so they're not getting any. But it was only one card. I have three credit cards. Okay. Okay. But it was only one card that I maxed out. And I was just like, 
Oh my God. But you know what's funny? I use this same credit card to build my credit. So this card that I have, I've had it for a very long time mm -hmm. and it, it started off as a secure card. Yes. With Discover. This mm -hmm. is after my bankruptcy. And so now this credit card has evolved to a, a $10,000 max. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's like, so I maxed it. I'm trying to, you know, buy trips and stuff. But, I mean, I have the money to pay it off now. Right. You see what I'm saying? So I was just like, oh, let me just put it on a credit card. And I'll just pay it next, you know, just to, to use it because I never use it. So that's interesting. Well, and let me make another um, huge point about maximizing your credit cards. There's a statement date and then there's the due date. Mm. The statement date is the date that it reports to the credit bureaus. What? Mm-hmm. The due date is, that just determines, you know, whether you're going to be late or not or whether you're paying interest. So realistically, how long do we have to pay off, like, the credit card after we use it? Two weeks? You have, it just depends. So let's say your uh, statement date is the 10th of the month. Okay. You want to pay it down to below 7%. That's the magic number. Oh. To get an A in that area. See, that's why I still had an F. I only pay half. Right. <laughs> Anything 50% and above, you're getting an F. If you want to get a C in that area, you want to pass get it below 30% utilization. Okay. If you want an A plus in that area, get it below 7%. So if your statement date is on the 10th of the month, you want to pay it down to below 7% utilization by the 8th, a couple of days before, because that's when it's going to report to the credit bureau. See, I didn't even know that. See, mm. So then after the 10th, you can go crazy. You can go spend whatever you want, but just bring it back down to okay. below 7% okay. before the 10th. Okay. Y'all see... <laughs> Imagine if we had a Winnie in every one of our households, okay? But you can. Yes, $24.99 a month. Yes, you can. Winnie's all you need credit. The Olive Leaf Extract can help lower your blood pressure, clear eczema, and fight against autoimmune diseases and so much more. Visit EmbracePangea.com to treat your intimate areas with the products it deserves. Automotive negotiator right at your fingertips. Click on their link below to start your pain-free car buying experience today.